The Trump administration has made it a priority to, in to increase domestic production of critical minerals such as copper. Interior Secretary Doug Burgum has even repurposed the president's line about oil by calling on companies to mine baby mine. Our Pippa Stevens is at a copper mine in Utah looking at both the challenges and the opportunities that are facing the industry. Good morning, Frank. We're about 40 minutes outside downtown Salt Lake City, where Rio Tinto's Kennecott Copper Mine has been operating for more than a century. This mine alone supplies about 20% of the U.S.'s refined copper, and it's also home to one of just two domestic smelters. That's important because it doesn't matter how much copper you have. If you can't turn it into a usable end product, it's useless. It's hard to get a sense of the sheer scale here. This is the world's largest open pit mine, 14,000 feet across and more than 4,000 feet deep. Every day here, workers blast 500,000 tons of ore. That's equivalent to 10,000 humpback whales. The ore then goes to a concentrator where the valuable minerals are separated out, followed by a smelter and finally a refinery, traveling a total of 26 miles via conveyor belts and pipes. Copper is key to so many products, electronics, data centers, defense, the energy transition. And as demand grows, some are forecasting there simply won't be enough. It's a critical moment for the industry because while the U.S. has abundant copper reserves, getting it out of the ground is a challenge. Right now we're importing 48 percent of our copper. So if you think of the numbers right now, conservatively, we're going to double that demand over the next five, six years. Once that happens, uh, we're going to be short. Now, we have copper here in the nation. We just got to figure out how can we unlock it. Copper is Kennecott's main product, but tellurium, another critical mineral, is also mined here as well as gold and silver. For now, this is Rio's largest project in the U.S., but plans are underway for the company's Resolution Copper Mine in Arizona. Rio has been the operator for more than two decades, spending more than $2 billion. But so far, the project remains stuck in permitting.